Okay, welcome to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, we're going to be, um, I'll show you how this is how, how I store this uh, Briggs, and, Briggs and Stratton 625 series EXI 6.25 blah 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 snapper 21 inch forward self propelled lawnmower. Here's how you store it you take that down there and you can put it in the back of your car on the SUV or truck or whatever. And uh, so this is a clean, easy way to store it. And this, these poles just slide right in there. They slide right in here. This twists out. It goes into a little nut. And all you got to do is uh, take these off. This one's going to screw freely. Like a, like a silly. And it dropped. Oh, well. I'll get that another time. But once you get that off there like that, you just set, you put the poles in, and those holes down here, as they should just slide right in one at a time. That one slid in. Now I need to get that one slid in. There. Slide it in. And then here's the hole right here. Push it down until it, you get it down far enough. Alright, the hole is flush. You can, see, you can see the hole right right here. And then put that in there and twist that on. And then do the same thing over here, which I dropped the, the nut, whatever it's called. That's the bottom part. Which slides in there and um, you'll screw this not not literally like as a screw screw not as in you know reproduction but you get that in there this will go on the other this will go on the underside this little nut thing castle nut or whatever it is put that in there and then uh, It'll just screw into this little bolt. All right, that's how you do that. And now you can, you're good to go. You're able to mow your grass. That's how you do that. And then the opposite to uh, store, to store your mower, to transport, to store, to store to transport, which is probably what this video will be titled, is the opposite. So you just do the opposite. You take off. These um, giant screws, and you uh, just pull this out. I use my foot for leverage. Just pull, give it a good pull. And uh, now you will have this string right here. This will be pulled out and attached to this. You have to unwound this, and this wire will go around there. So you'll have to take that off. So don't forget to do that or you'll uh, have some trouble. So once you get that pulled out, you can just flip this around just like so and set it down like that. And then so I don't lose those big screws, I'll put them back in where, right, right there. See how that screw is right there? That's how the other one should be. But it fell out, as you can see. But, um, okay, look at this. Okay. Just store that like that so you can't, don't lose it. And then I'm going to try to put this castle nut back in there. And you can watch me all your viewing, all your viewing pleasure. Um, somehow this nut came out. I keep calling it that. Even though I don't know if that's proper name for it or not somebody will be smart and uh, correct me in the comments I'm sure there I pushed it in there, that's where that goes and then it connects right up and it screws right in alright it's good for storage and the only thing I'm going to do now is cover this up for the rain I don't want the rain getting on the engine because I mean even though 
from under a, a porch here. It still leaks. It leaks like a um, a sieve. I don't know what the expression is, but it leaks big time. And then I uh, throw a couple more bags over for good measure, just to keep it out of you know out of sight, out of mind, that type of deal. You know, like big some big bright red object or uh, predatory species here. Someone sees something bright and red, they might try to take it. So we'll just cover that up. And uh, that's just what we do here at Mad Human Pizza. We go out and mow our uh, rent renters' properties and um, be a landlord and just um, live life and do YouTube and do some nursing and, um, you know, all the good stuff. I got this tire here. Now I have, this is, uh, I don't know, the, where the grass collects. So I need to figure out how I'm going to store this here. Making a video here. People watching me. They can watch all they want. I'm a YouTuber. That's how it's done. Have a great day. Right, welcome to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, we're going to check the, uh, the fuel level on a Snapper 21 inch uh, forward. I'm not sure what that. Uh, it's uh, it dried. It's self propelled, but uh, I guess forward. I don't know. It's a uh, Briggs and Stratton 625 series EXI 150C C 6.25 blah blah blah. So it's currently in storage mode, which I have the um, handlebars down. I got a video on how to do that. So here's your gas. You just counterclockwise, and it has a stick here that um, it's helpful. It uh, helps it not get lost because you don't want to have it get lost. And you get your gas can, you just pour it right in here, and then it either overflows overflows on you, and you get a little uh, angry. Or it doesn't. You see it coming and you stop. And then you just maneuver it, manipulate that, maneuver it around until you get on there like that. And then you give it a good uh, clockwise, clockwise until it stops. It's just, uh, I don't know, a point two, one, I don't know, less than 0.25 of a turn. And that's it. It's on. That's how you um, uh, fuel. Uh, a self-propelled mower that's how you find it it's located right beside the middle of the mower it's uh, there's the front of the mower here's the um, the middle and here's how you find and fill up um, I could do a demonstration but it's already full I mean it's well it's not full but it's got there's gasoline in there just take a word for it it's it's got you know about half full and uh, so you go, 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 and then you fill it up. So that's how you fill up. Um, I mean, you just put your gas nozzle up, up there, and and you do it. So that's how you do that. And um, that's about it for this uh, video. Have a great day. All right, now there's just a bunch of trash bags over there. The um, your self-propelled mower, it can um, you can either have the attachment, which is uh, this um bag I've had it on there and uh, it collects the uh, the uh, grass and all the leaves and everything you, it, so it doesn't spray out the side you can either have it attached to which I have a video on or it not attached to where it'll blow out the side and it'll blow out this thing right here it just kind of blows straight down and as you can see it needs cleaned a little bit but it'll just blow down and uh, Spray grass everywhere, which could helps with uh, seeding, seeding uh, future uh, grass growth. So that's always good. But uh, if you collect the grass, it makes I guess it looks nicer, and you can uh, store it somewhere. So that's a little word. That's a little word about um, grass catching. Just a little FYI. 
It's my little experience from using this mower. It's a pretty good mower. And uh, if I store it outside, I'll put that white trash bag over top of the engine. That way rain doesn't get on top of it and inside the top of the, um, the engine compartment. I mean, it's covered with plastic and it won't hurt it, but, you know, and I cover the rest up with his bags too. That way it doesn't uh, have moisture on it all the time and water so it doesn't rust prevents it from rusting if you ever see rust just paint over it you know paint just do a little sanding and then paint over it and you're good to go